Hello friends, this video on data handling part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Challenge that we face is to represent data because here we saw in the previous slide that the data is being represented in the form of tables. So the more number of data you have, the larger the table becomes. Now again, that becomes unmanageable after a certain point in time. So we need better ways, better techniques to represent data. So the first technique that we use is pictographs. Now what are pictographs? Picto, the word picto is derived from pictures. So we make use of pictures to represent data. So pictorial representation of data with pictures. So let's see how do we do that. Let's say that in a class of 100 or in a class of 500 students, the teacher asked the favorite fruit to each kid. Now, which is your favorite fruit? That is the question which is being asked by this teacher to a class of 500 students. And, and the response that the teacher received was something like this. The teacher found, now as I said, that the class consisted of 500 students and it was found that 50 of them liked apple. So they said that their favorite fruit was apple. 100 of them said that their favorite fruit was mango. 250 of them said that their favorite fruit was grapes. And the remaining 100, they chose orange. So this was the response that came out of the class of 500. So this is the data that we have. So how do we represent this data with pictures? So what we assume is we say that let us say that 50 kids are represented with one symbol. Let's say the number 50 is represented by this symbol. So one kid, this is the picture of a student. So this picture represents 50 students. So the pictograph would look something like this. Apple is being liked by how many kids? 50 kids because this one picture represents 50. So that is the convention that we have followed because if we start drawing 50 kids, that will take me huge time. So in order to save that time, what we do, we draw one kid and we say that let this kid represent 50 kids. Now when it is turned for mango, what happens? Mango is liked by 100 kids. That means 250s. So two kids drawn, that would mean 50 plus 50, that is 100. Similarly, when it comes to grapes, 250 kids like it. So how many kids will you draw? So you will actually draw five kids. So here we just have four and that's a mistake. So there should be five kids here. So the five kids together will make 250. Similarly, for orange, it would be again two kids because it's 100. So this is how data is represented with pictographs. Now you tell me when you look at this data, it looks kind of boring and you just need to focus on the numbers. And when you have to focus on numbers, many a times it happens that instead of 1000, you read it as 100. And you interpreted it incorrectly. But when it is in terms of pictures, you actually get to see the picture. So just by looking at the picture from far, you can analyze which is having the maximum, which is having the minimum. So this is how uh, data is represented with pictures and this, this kind of a graph is called as pictograph. So it is not like the usual graphs that we see with x-axis and y-axis. It is a representation with pictures which is given the name of pictograph. So let us take another example of pictograph. So here let's assume that we have a class of say a group of 100 students and here we have asked students to choose their favorite subject. Now they have been given options of maths, physics and chemistry and they have to decide out of these three subjects which is the one that they like the most. And let's say that uh, maths is being liked by these three kids. So what does that mean? How many students like maths? 300 of course because one kid represents 100 students as you can very clearly see here. So if one kid is 100, so this is 100, this is 100, this is 100. So 3 times 100 that is 300. That means maths is liked by 300 kids. 
physics is liked by 200 of them chemistry is liked by 500 of them because you have five pictures of kids now looking at this pictograph so this is basically a pictograph so looking at this pictograph if i ask you some simple questions like which subject is liked by most of the students quickly even without knowing whether maths is liked by 300 physics by 200 or chemistry by 500 just looking at this pictograph you can very quickly say that chemistry is the subject which is liked by most of the students that's because you can see more number of pictures for chemistry which means chemistry is liked by most of them similarly if i specifically ask you how many students like physics so again here, just looking at two kids, you can very quickly say that 200 kids like physics. So these kind of pictographs, you know, they have pictures. So th you do not really write, need to write a lot of content to uh, explain what the pictograph depicts. Just looking at the pictograph, you can analyze what it represents. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.